guys oh my god it's been so long um back in germany i was actually in spain for almost the whole july we've been in spain with my husband and my daughter for three weeks and now we are back in germany and i've been so looking forward to like getting back to my routine you know what i mean when you are on holidays the routine goes you know all over the place and usually when i i'm having like kind of a long holidays in the end of it i'm kind of looking forward to getting home and just going back to my routine you know how how i love my routines guys and yeah as much as i enjoyed being in spain i was kind of looking forward to coming back i haven't done any yoga exercises like nothing of what i usually do while i was in spain so yeah i'm really looking forward to getting back but oh my god what the hell is happening with the weather in germany guys like at some point when i was in spain and it was getting closer to like the end date i decided to check the weather to see like what is going on here and i was so sure that it was hot because when we left in july it was hot in germany and i remember last year in july it was like 35 degrees almost in germany so i was sure that we're good like that it's hot and that it's sunny and, and everything and i check the weather and i see 16 degrees and rain and like this like every day what is going on germany i've seen so many reels about how shitty the weather is this year and I'm just really, really thankful that I had these three weeks to be in summer and to be in Spain, I mean, in this summer weather, to, in the heat. I mean, it's full on like fall vibes in here. I feel like wearing these cozy clothes, I feel like drinking tea and, and lighting on candles. And it's like, it's the beginning of August. We still have plenty of months to get cozy. August is still for summer. Anyways, I'm going to do some stretches for my back, some journaling, and after that, going for a walk. Let's go. Aurora woke up like seconds after I started my yoga, but it's actually okay. She's in this sweet spot when she doesn't fully crawl yet, although she started to move like much more these days. And she's trying to walk, like she just doesn't want to crawl. She wants to go straight to walking, but she can't yet. But she's in this stage when she can actually entertain herself pretty well um, by herself. So she often plays by herself. And I feel like I can do almost anything like with her. <laughs> She's just so sweet. She's so calm, but also like quite active and engaging. Like she's just so sweet. So I just continued my stretches and did some journaling, but we're actually gonna go outside now that she's awake. Why are you so cute, baby? <laughs> Hey again guys, I'm home, I was outside and it was just so freaking cold, it started pouring, I just I came back home and I'm not getting out anymore. It just feels like um, end of October slash beginning of November, I'm almost getting a Christmas mood like at this point and it's the beginning of August. Anyways, I wanted to chat with you guys and share with you about my trip to Spain. I mean a lot of my channel is all around like living in Germany and before it was living in Spain so I, I often talk about like comparison between these two countries and 
yeah i do that because that's what i do to be honest every time i'm making a trip to spain ever since i left i try to kind of like analyze and i'm wondering how i'm gonna feel whether i'm gonna like it and i'm all the time still like two years after leaving spain i'm still thinking which country is better for me and for my family and like where do i like living more you know the advantages and disadvantages and like it's so complicated because there is advantages and disadvantages in both in spain and in germany but uh, when i was leaving spain i was like i was so ready to move you know i was i just wanted to leave i really was finding so many like negatives there but you know i think that it was kind of a coincidence uh, in my case that during that period of life i was living in spain because i just didn't have you know i was just not in good space mentally like i was in my early 20s you know i moved to this new country i didn't speak the language but on top of that i was going through all of these internal processes and yeah the, my victim mentality something that i shared about in my previous video my previous unedited video actually uh, yeah and it was just kind of like a coincidence that during that time i was living in spain so in my mind you know there is this association like when i was living in spain i was very unhappy but the more time passes and the better i actually feel and the more mature i am i realize that it had kind of very few to do with the place like it almost had nothing to do with the place the way i was feeling right so yeah i keep like trying to figure it out and understand where um, do i actually prefer to live and should we move um, back to spain soon or at some at some point or is it better to stay in germany like this is something that i'm constantly like thinking about and discussing with my husband as well yeah so i just wanted to share with you guys and yeah so this time around we were for, we were in spain for three weeks in the same city that i kind of hated when i was living there it's called mataro but i really really enjoyed being there this time even though i was kind of worried going there because again yeah we were staying in the same city and it was like three weeks uh, also you know end of july august like mm, the hottest time uh, in spain like i'm not great with heat so i was a bit nervous about that plus it's for the first time we were going with our daughter with our child right with our baby so i was also wondering how it's gonna be you know with this new experience and it was honestly like even better than i kind of imagined i was proactively trying to lower my expectations when going there because i didn't want to be disappointed but yeah it was in the end even better than i kind of imagined and one of the reasons is i had so much stuff in myself that i needed like to get out of my system things that i couldn't do because of pregnancy because of then having a newborn it was just you know a different kind of lifestyle but i'm like i'm still young like i'm not even 30 and i just i really wanted i had so much desire to like go out go to a bar and do like this sort of things and just socialize like that's another thing like living in a small town in germany is just so boring sometimes and three these three weeks in spain it was absolutely perfect i feel i felt like we were doing so much stuff we were all the time with people like for three weeks i don't think i i was alone at any point and it was good like i just really enjoyed it also because i realized that i'm much more social than i th thought of myself basically i really really enjoyed it and in spain in july there are the, all the summer parties which are called like Festa Major in Catalonia or Fiesta Mayor in, in Spain. And it was just perfect. Like we, I just needed to get it out of my system. We were, we, could, we were able to leave our daughter with her grandparents and they were happy to be with her. She was happy with them. And then we could go out with our friends and just enjoy some of this like going out. And, you know, during the one and a half years, I didn't, go as much as to a bar like you know around the corner i just didn't go out at all because first i was pregnant then i had a newborn and i just really wanted to like go out and do this sort of thing 
And yeah, I just again realize how the Spanish weather throughout the whole year, it brings such a variety of activities that you can do. And this is what I'm, one of the most things that I'm missing, I think, from Spain, uh, together with food and, you know, with other things. But this, yeah, having the ability to go out all the time, to get outside, to enjoy, you know, the weather, to go for hikes, to go paddle surf, to go out to eat uh, like all the time, to go to the beach. Like there is just unlimited number of activities you can do all year long. And most of the time like you can do it because the weather is good even in the middle of the winter. But in Germany, you know, it's 7th of August today and it's 11 degrees and raining. And it's like summer, literally middle of summer. We have the whole year of this gray weather and I'm just like, there is nothing to do in this weather. Yeah, that's one of the things that's really, really, you know, that I really miss from Spain and that I think that I think about a lot when it comes to living in Germany because it is quite boring. German people are just like all the time at home and I'm, I love being at home, don't get me wrong. Like I want, I prefer home office, for example, but all the time at home and you know having this weather when you cannot go out and you I don't know it just gets uh, really repetitive and really boring at some point another thing that I noticed like massively this time around in Spain is just how friendly people are uh, how people make small talk and I didn't realize how much I missed it until now you know I come from Russia like I'm not I don't come from the culture uh, like Spain or Italy where people are so warm and like friendly and so on and expressive so Russian people are kind of like Germans like very reserved but after living in Spain I guess I was kind of used to that and now after living in Germany I go back there and I'm like oh my god that's it just feels so nice like you go to the supermarket and they call you guapa cariño like you are <laughs> some a family member I don't even know and it just feels nice and like they're not even pretending it's just the way people speak in Spanish but the most important thing that made me doubt the most um, about like living in Germany and yeah that I would like to live uh, to move back to Spain it's not the weather or these things these things are nice to have but they're not like they're not a reason to to move back for me but the one thing that really, really made me doubt, it's just how uncomfortable I'm feeling in Germany in regards to language. And I really didn't realize it until I left Spain, how good my Spanish was, or maybe my Spanish like really improved um, in the past couple of years, even after I moved. So I feel like my Spanish is so good. I don't remember being so uncomfortable uh, with Spanish and be, being in Spain when I was actually living there, which is crazy. But this feeling of comfort, like the second our plane, you know, landed and we were gone out of the plane, I just had this feeling of ease and this feeling of relief because I didn't have to think about how I speak. I didn't have to, you know, make any, almost any effort to just communicate. I didn't have to, you know, prepare sentences in my head and translate stuff before I talk to people, before I say anything, like, which is what I constantly do in Germany. I just realized that I spent so much energy here in Germany on the language and how I don't want to approach people, I don't want to call doctors, I don't want to do so many things because of the language, there is this resistance because it's not just taking a phone and calling, it's not, it's not just, you know, approaching someone, it's like the whole language thing is there. Yeah, the language thing is just something that plays such a role, like such a huge it makes such a huge difference in how you're feeling in the country and it's been like two years in Germany and I just don't feel that level of comfort <laughs> and I'm not sure like German is so much more difficult than Spanish and it took me at least five years to become like really really fluent in Spanish and so it probably will take me longer in Germany and um, especially taking into account that I don't really have like German family, German friends or 
I don't have so much practice as I did have in Spain. So it's gonna take like a long time to become really, really fluent in Germany. And yeah, I don't know, I just really, really don't like this feeling. And another thing that's like super, super important uh, is that, you know, my husband's family is there in Spain. And having family around, now that I have a daughter, I realize like how important it is and how much a difference it would make if we were living you know close to family like in terms of help in terms of just spending time together and stuff like that we're just completely alone here in germany and like yes we have some friends but it's not really the same you know so yeah family is like another thing that's really on my mind but yeah guys let me know what you think you know I also think like on the other hand, again, when I was living in Spain, there were a lot of things that I was complaining about. Like I did not enjoy the constant heat and tr believe it or not, I did not enjoy the constant sunny weather. Like I was literally like, oh my God, I just want one day of rain and fresh air and just to feel cozy and be at home. The thing that I didn't like in Spain is that it was too much. People are always doing things. People are always going out. And I also don't want that. Like, I want to have a balance, you know? It's like Germany, you don't go out at all. It's boring where we live and so on. In Spain, it's like sometimes it was too much. I would like ideally like to have a balance. The point is that I'm also thinking about, do I just want to go to Spain because, you know, we as humans just want to have what we don't have? Because, yeah, I've complained about plenty of things when I was living in Spain. What if I move to Spain and then I will be like complaining again and I will miss Germany and you know it's just this cycle. <laughs> I don't know but anyways for now we're in Germany and for now I'm going to try to take and enjoy uh, the things that I have in Germany and then we will see what happens. That was a long, long video. Let me guys know in the comments if you kind of are interested in this, if you enjoy this content, like comparing and discussing, uh, where is it better to live, so that I know that you guys are watching. And yeah, 